good Thursday morning, October 29th. There's one adult perched in the attic. I looked in all the surrounding perch trees. I don't see any other eagle anywhere. There's a great blue heron and I think a wood stork perched in the right pond tree. It's funny, there was some bird activity between 6.30 and now, which is 10 to 7. A couple of ibis were roosting on the pasture ground. And the wood stork flew in from across the road and landed in the pond tree. The great blue heron flew from the left pond tree to the right pond tree. But the adult in the nest tree has been quiet, no vocals. Okay, we'll wait until it gets light to see what happens today. There's the moon. Hi, Mr. Moon. This is where the sun will be rising in about a half hour. Starting to get color. Still pretty dark in the pasture. Still have one up here in the attic. Can't see very well yet. I believe this is M15. There's a heron and I think a wood stork. This is a great blue heron. Standing on one foot. Hi, Mr. Heron. That's the wood stork. Good morning, Mr. Wood Stork. Or Mrs. Doing some morning cleaning. Looks like he's still sleeping. Have a good nap. And 15's looking around. Calling. <laughs> I hope you can hear him. Keeps looking north, she might be on the power poles. I 
those were just blackbirds. Stretching a wing. of yours, the light changes the color. Oh. I always like the moon. We're all together under the moon. Okay, my little nest tree. It was a quiet morning. They'll be back to see you later today, I'm sure. Just like every day. I checked the power poles. Nobody was over at the power poles, and that's the way M15 went at 7.30. It's 7.55 now. I'm over at Yonder Pond, and nobody's here today, and it's a lot foggier over here. Nobody's over here in the Norfolk Pines south of here either. Back in there. Nobody's in the trees at the end of the shopping center by the cell tower. Nobody's on the cell tower. So they must be perched and enjoying a nice Thursday morning. Okay, bye little yonder pond. <laughs>